We bought one from us. We probably went. This is your friend James, Jehovah Rapha, and you. God is the omni, omnipotent, all powerful, omnipresent, all every everywhere present at the same time, omniscient, all knowing God. He is the Lord that healeth thee. And we're continuing with this series. Hebrews 10 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Let us, uh, it's, it's almost two things. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. That's the first thing without wavering. The second thing. So the first thing in this phrase is the profession of our faith. What is profession? If you look up what is our profession, you know, even a profession is someone that someone's entire life is wrapped around. That's their business. That's their job. Let us hold fast to our profession. But even when we, when you're professing a professor and, you know, declaring if you study it out and do the etymology of the word translation, it actually means confession. Let us hold fast to our confession, what we're saying about God. Let us hold fast to that without wavering. If we say God is a healer, we need to stick with that and not change. If we say God is a savior, gives salvation, we need to not change. We cannot change. And we don't need to change. If we say God is a savior, God's a healer, let's not change at all. You know, we got to hold fast without wavering. Which means you can't you can't say, oh, Jesus is the healer, and then you get around some people who don't believe in God, and so you kind of say, well, maybe, you know, you don't, you don't really want to boldly say, no, nah, Jesus is the healer, I believe Jesus is the, well, the healer, Jesus is the only way to God. And you don't want to change around the people and be, waver, you know, we don't want to waver, that's personal wavering too, by Jesus' stripes I'm healed, and then the devil tries to tell you that that's not true, you need to not waver in that. But you don't want to change, you know, to make someone feel good or just not say anything on social media because you don't want to make them feel bad because they say there are many ways to heaven and Jesus said he's the only way. So let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. This also means confession. And what do you say? Joshua and Caleb, Numbers chapter 14, said we're well able to, to take the land. Then they saw giants. What did they say after that? We're well able to take the land. I mean, everyone was like, yay, God's giving us this land. But the other 10 spies, when they saw the the giants, they changed their confession. They wavered. God said, I've given you this to, to take over the land, and they didn't hold on to it. So you have to, when it comes to standing and praising the Lord, Lord, I believe I received the answer to my prayer. You have to hold on to that confession. You have to hold on to your profession. No, I believed. I prayed. God's going to bless my child to do well. We're believing God for him to get into college. He's going to have a wonderful time in college, and you don't change it. Let's not waver. So let us hold fast. Hold fast. Hold on to, don't let go of the, profe the profession of our faith without wavering. People, the Bible says, let any, don't, uh, John, James, he says, if it, it, let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For anyone who is like, uh, wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. The double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. See, if you are wavering and, you know, in the morning, Jesus is the healer. And you say, yes, thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Then the evening you don't feel good and you're talking to somebody on the phone and you change that. Or someone's trying to convince you, say, hey, no, Jesus isn't really the healer. You're not, you know, come on, Jesus isn't really the healer. I mean, come on. No, you know, or, or yeah, yes, Jesus is the healer, but you need to go to the doctor and get a flu shot so you can get over that real quick. When God told you to just drink some cold, some warm water and some tea, drink fluids and rest. And God's, you're holding on to that. But either way, some people, well, what is like, someone says like, even if you went to the doctor, what's your confession still saying? Jesus Christ is healer. Thank you, doctor. But I trust God for my healing. This is what some people ought to start doing while they're headed to the doctor. Jesus, you're the healer. Thank you. You're the healer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's 20 minutes to the doctor. Oh, praying in tongues. Pray, thank you, Jesus. You're our healer. We're going to the doctor. We pray for you to give this doctor great revelation and wisdom, but our trust is in you to heal our son and not, not the doctor, because what if they run out of vaccines? But when it says, let us hold fast profession of our faith without wavering, whatever you're standing for, you can't waver. Don't waver. Come on, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. For he is faithful that promise. This is very important. Why can we not do it? Because Why can we not waver? Is because he is faithful. 
There's a difference. See, God doesn't just tell you, Jesus is the healer, Jesus is the healer, Jesus will make you rich, Jesus is salvation, and then it's a lie. No, the reason why we need to hold fast is for he is faithful, that promise. God is faithful. He is always faithful. He didn't lie. Whatever he promises to do, he'll do. He says he's the God that healeth thee. And when Jesus showed up and said, he's the, when you see him, you've seen the Father, what did he do? Every single person, we have no record anywhere in the Bible where Jesus re refused to heal anybody or failed to heal somebody. Even the person that the disciples couldn't get healed, there was a more revelation they needed to get that fixed. Even when the man, when Jesus laid his hands on the man, and he opened up his eyes, he said, I see men like trees. There was more revelation. Jesus did it a second time. But there's nowhere in the Bible, anywhere, where anybody came to God for anything and he said no. Not when they came to him and they needed something from him and asked for him. We're not talking about the time in the Bible. There is a time when, when uh, they go so far out. That when they look for him, they're not going to find him. So you don't ever want to get in that position. You keep rejecting God, rejecting the Bible, rejecting everything. And then in the end, it's like, mm, that's not good. Because then, you know, you end up, you've already stepped too far out. But anybody else, even, you know, but when you read Jesus in the study, the, the general people, the people who are not given over to a reprobate mind, Jesus, when he said it, you know, even the prodigal son wasted his whole inheritance. His father came back and hugged him. So he is faithful that promised. So remember, God is faithful. He is always faithful. Make that. It's that fact that Sarah judged God's faithful. That's how she ended up with Isaac. So faithful, faithful, faithful. God wants you to be. You got. You to be faithful. You need to be a faithful person. You know, God is faithful. You need to be faithful. One, the fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. And so God is faithful. What does faithful mean? That means you can trust and rely. They are. They are. Uh, they always do what they said they're going to do. You can expect them. You can have faith in God, faithful. He's, you can be, he's faithful, full of faith. He is faithful that promised. And he promised to do certain things in the Bible. He's established certain things. Um, and he says himself to your infirmities, bear your sicknesses. That's what he says. I am the Lord that healeth thee. So if he says it, we can hold fast to calling him the God that heals us, Jehovah Rapha, for he is faithful. When you pray, you can believe and be. That's why Jesus said in Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. That means we need to have confidence and trust in him. So when he says he is faithful, we need to believe he's faithful. Ask the Lord, Jesus, show me your faithfulness. You know, you need to ask him, God, if you're faithful, prove this. I need help. Always ask God. I want to. Whenever you're studying any of these subjects in the Bible, ask God. If you think, you know, Lord, I need more help about your faithfulness. Because, you know, some people, they, they hang around with a bunch of liars and people don't do what they're supposed to do. So what does that mean? Those people ain't faithful. So, for he is faithful that promised. So let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let me be.